Hi, I'm Omer Rao. I work for the Plastic Surgeon and Bones Consultants in Yorkshire. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the pneumatic dermicone, its various components, how to put it together, and the safety precautions while doing that. Now, this is the pneumatic dermatome. The front end has two rollers which controls the skin graft as it comes out. The back end is the connection to the pneumatic air hose. It connects in a clip fashion like so. The other end of the air hose connects to the main air supply. Along one side of the dermatome is the lever to control the thickness of your skin graft marked from 0 to 30 thousandths of an inch. Along the base of the dermatome are two screws to secure the base plate and the central lever to secure the skin graft blade. The main control of the dermatome is a lever along with a safety sliding mechanism. Whenever the dermatome is in safe mode, the lever sits flush with the handle. To activate the dermatome to take a skin graft, lift up the lever, slide back the safety mechanism so that the lever stands proud of the base. It is equipped with the spring mechanism to set the dermatome going to take a skin graft. Now, as far as the base plates are concerned, come in various sizes depending on the width of the skin graft that you need to take, ranging from 1 inch to 4 inch. The base plate itself has got two holes for the screws to secure to the base of the dermatome. Uh, it, it has got a wider section to slide through the screws and a narrow section to secure the plate itself. The dermatome blade be very careful when handling it to avoid a sharp injury. When you open it, always handle it at the base where the plastic strip is. It is very clearly marked. Insert this side up. It's got a central hole which corresponds to the lever in the middle of the base of the dermatome. When it sits in that lever, the blade sits flush to the base of the dermatome. To secure the base plate, slide the screws through the larger holes of the base plate and then slide the whole plate forward until you hear a click and then tighten the screws to secure the mechanism. Once you have tightened it, make sure it is secure by moving the plate around. At this stage, also calibrate the thickness of your skin graft, which is usually between six and eight thousandths of an inch. I'm going to tell you now how to uh, take off the skin graft blade once you've taken your skin graft. Um, just make sure that before you start dismantling uh, the pneumatic dermatome, the lever is on safe. Once you have, to, have taken the skin graft, slide it onto safe, make sure it's flush with the handle, then disconnect the pneumatic hose from the base so that it's easier to handle. Turn it back, secure it on a, a nice and flat surface, unscrew the two screws at the base plate. You don't need to take the screws off completely. Once they're fairly loose, the plate should slide. You can see from the side, there is a little indentation at the side, which you can use to lift up the plate and then slide it back. Once, it's, once the screws are sitting in the larger holes, the plate should lift off. Similarly, when you take off the blade, always control it from the back, plastic metal sheet, never hold it from the front. Once you have taken out the shaft, always put it in a sharp spin. And that's how you assemble and disassemble a pneumatic dermatome in a nutshell. Thank you very much. I hope you found that useful.